Disclaimer, our podcast is for entertainment only. We are not discrediting anyone who has had any of these paranormal encounters or believes them. Hello, beautiful human beings. It's Mars and SJ here with Undeniable Mysteries, a podcast where we find paranormal stories on the internet and we rate them on how believable they are to us. Our first category is cryptids. We're going alphabetical order of the United States. Uh, SJ. Next state, encrypted. It is North Carolina. Sorry. (laughs) Is North Carolina in the Cape Fear River Mermaids. Mermaids. I've never heard of a mermaid cryptid. Me neither. I feel like this is more like a like a myth or a legend than a cryptid, but yeah. I mean, th- this is what the internet <sighs> said. Was I don't because like so. I feel like cryptids are more like unhuman like, and then like mermaids and such are more of, more of myths and legends. I don't know. We had that goat man. He was kind of human like. Yeah, but goat man is still you know li- li- goat man has goat man. You know <laughs> a goat head. All right. Let's dive into this. <laughs> I oh my god, I hate you. All right, so hidden in the woods where the Hall and Deep River converge to form the mouth of the Cape Fear is a magical place known as Mermaid Point. I feel I, yeah, I feel like this is more of a legend. Yeah, the name has roots in legend, dating, <laughs> dating back to the 1700s when Revolutionary War soldiers told tales of seeing beautiful mermaids sitting along a sandbar combing their hair in the moonlight. Tales. Dead men tell no tales. So the myth is wrapped up in the very real history of the Revolutionary War and an old tavern that once stood in the area now known as Moncure. Today, both the sandbar and tavern are gone, washed away, leaving no trace of the history and legend that once stood there. All right. So, um, well, so North Carolina has, like, a lot of mythical creatures. So, Bigfoot, there's fairies, there's some kind of beast um different versions of Loch Ness Monster so wow so yeah North Carolina has a lot of like cryptids and creatures I wonder what state has the most cryptids I don't know um okay so we don't want to know okay so Ambrose Ramsey owned the tavern as well as a nearby mill which served the surrounding community during the war soldiers began to regular regularly visit the tavern um, it was around this time that soldiers first began spreading tales of seeing mermaids along a long, gleaming sandbar that divided the Cape Fear River. So, according to oral tradition, soldiers believed the mermaids had traveled up the Cape Fear in order to wash seawater from their beautiful long hair. Um, so, it's also possible the war and British occupancy along the coastal Wilmington could have scared some of the mermaids upstream uh sadly mermaids point was eventually flooded leaving the mermaids nowhere to sit above the waters ramsey's tavern met a similar fate in the early 1900s and the mermaid legend vanished from history let's see let's see let's see I want descriptions, and I want to see if there's any encounters. Mm-hmm. Because we kind of need those for this podcast. That's what it's all about. Because if it's a cryptid in North Carolina, it's going to have to have some kind of, like, you know, story behind it. Or sightings. Um. Because how else would you know about it? All right. So I found something that says, possible mermaid sighting in Cape Fear River. Uh, Fort Fisher, North Carolina. Um, it says, if you ever visit the museum of the bazaar in Wilmington, North Carolina, you might see the Fort Fisher mermaid. This mermaid is said to have been found in a fisherman net in Fort Fisher. 
Although this mermaid looks like the one from the P.T. Barnum V.G. mermaid, um, a family says they saw a real mermaid in the Cape Fear River off Fort Fisher in Carolina Beach. So on May 26, 2018, the Connor family were visiting Carolina Beach from their hometown of Hickory, North Carolina. While um, on vacation, they put their boat in to do some fishing and sunning. They were leaving the area of the jetties in the river at Fort Fisher um, when they saw what they thought was a dolphin. They watched it for about three to four minutes when they noticed what looked to be a human head pop up and look at them. Shocked by what they just saw, they took photos. Once they returned their boat um, landing at the Carolina Beach State Park, they showed the local ranger the photos. He did not know what was in the photos and sent copies of the photo to the um, UNC Wilmington's Marine Bio Biology Lab. Um, Carolina Unknown spoke to a member of the UNCW Marine Biology Center, Michael Kay, who has seen the photos. He stated that there is a marine animal in the photo, but they could not tell what it was due to fuzzy photo taken at a distance. He advised that there have been sightings of whales, dolphins, and even manatees in the area, but he has never heard of a mermaid. Dun dun dun! So possible mermaid sightings. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, I think that was the only one. There's no description of it. Is there any photos of it? No. Just mermaid photos. What so, about what about the photo that they took? The supposed photo that they took. What? What do you mean by that? I meant like well, what? I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> what? I feel like this is more of a legend than a cryptid. Like what? I'm not seeing. Any photos? Well, that's not, but that's the Fiji mermaid. Well, crap. All right, <laughs> let's get to uh, reading. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, image. <laughs> Zero. Zero. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> Yeah, no, guys. I I give it a ten. It, you know. Oh, it looks, okay. It okay. Lo it looks pretty good. Now I give it a zero too. All right. Um, story. Um, the story was kind of entertaining. Uh, not, not for me. Really? Yeah, not really. I got a four. I got like a two. I mean, there were some interesting things, but not enough. All right. Proof. There's no proof. <sighs> this is. Wait a minute. What? Are you giving me? Are you giving a zero? Yeah, there's no proof. Wait, check. What's the? What's the thing? What do you mean? What's the total? It six. That's below Minahuni. That's why I wanted to see the list. Yeah, Minahuni's at eight. Dang. Sorry, River Mermaid. You don't Sorry. Make the cut. <laughs> you are the very last on our list. Dang. That mm. really sucks. It's not even like a like a point something. It's literally just six. Six. Man. Well, I mean, there wasn't really much to it. It was more of a, a urban legend than a cryptid. Yeah, there was only one supposed sighting. Yeah. Hmm. Well, sorry guys for a short episode. Um, make sure you follow us on Twitter. Give us your uh, stories if you have any or opinions on these cryptids. And, and August seventh. What is August seventh? Sea Serpent Day. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm going as champ. I'm gonna dress as champ. I'm gonna keep reminding you guys. Alrighty, well, I hope you guys enjoy. See you all next week.